Welcome to Cooking the Books. I'm here with David Goodwillie, the author of American Subversive, which is a book about uh, blogging and blogging, terrorism. Blogging, among other things, yes. So I have to be totally honest about the fact that this book was really extraordinarily hard for me to read. I bet it was, yeah. Not because you're a bad writer and it's not a really entertaining book, um, but just because it's really about your, I mean, the, the site that the blogger works at in the book is like a sort of wonkette gawker combo platter. Very much so. It's, uh, it's called Roarback in the book. And uh, I actually, um, I don't know if you remember, but we had drinks like uh, three or four years ago. I was going to bring it up if you didn't. I was fascinated. I, I, uh, you know, I've always read blogs, but I, I knew I wanted to have this, one of the main characters of the book be a blogger. Uh, and I wanted to kind of get into the head of a real professional blogger and what it was like to, I guess, the, the anxiety and the pressure of having to show up and create 12 or 15 posts a day under kind of, you know, anxiety-riddled conditions and, uh, and what that actually was like. I think people kind yeah, of take it for granted sometimes. So, and I also didn't know, so I met you for drinks and, and I think you probably thought I was crazy because I don't think I even knew what like an RSS feed was. So I was asking you all no, these you didn't. crazy questions. And then I was like, she must think I'm a complete idiot. But it actually was, um, uh, you know, I learned a lot. And the blogger in the book is kind of gossip celebrity blogger, but he also has uh, higher ambitions. Um, to your credit, though, you did make professionally blogging for a Gawker site sound really like action-packed and interesting. Yeah, well, um, and and kind of glamorous in a way, and like it's not. I was very interested in the idea that bloggers could now break major news stories, and mm. blogging has become so mainstream that it's not out of the norm at all to have a, a gossip blogger, for better or worse, like all of a sudden have a major news story land on his lap and be able to go investigate it rather than some investigative reporter for the Times or for NBC News. You know, because I guess Gawker gets so many hits and so many uh, tips and, you know, all that stuff that it's, I could totally see that happening. And I know it's happened on Juan Kep before. A yeah, lot, I mean, you know, like vaguely stuff. analogous things have definitely yeah. happened. Not on my watch. Maybe not tracking down <laughs> domestic terrorists. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's fiction. It's fiction. So, like, blogging is a, a pretty small part of this book, and I used fully. it as a way to jump into kind of larger themes, I guess. Um, well, can I, you talk uh, for a second about what? happens? <laughs> sure. Well, the book is very much a uh, character-based book where I started off with these two people in my head. Uh, a woman named Paige Roderick, who's very much not from New York and kind of not from the world I know at all. She's from the Mount Smoky Mountains of North Carolina. She's kind of a save the world type of person and she works at a think tank in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And then the other side is this Aiden Cole gawkerish type blogger and so a bomb goes off and that's the beginning of the book above Barney's in, the, uh, in Midtown and three days later uh, Aiden's at one of his countless parties in a loft downtown. It's pretty glamorous the and, life of a celebrity right. blogger and uh, <laughs> at lofts downtown <laughs> right, you know right. as one does yes of constantly course. and uh, he goes into the back to check his email and um, up comes this photograph of this beautiful woman walking away from Barney's and underneath the words this is Paige Roderick she's the one responsible and instead for whatever reason instead of thinking it's a joke or that or like posting it immediately and whatever he he decides to kind of pursue the story and uh, it becomes and that's the basis of the book. The bomb went off on the deserted 15th floor of 660 Madison Avenue and as New Yorker woke that rainy morning to the searing image of a burning office tower it was easy to believe the worst. It was the beginning of a new battle. It was the end of an old war. It was us. It was them. So, David, we're going to cook Southern breakfast because your character, Paige Roderick, is a Southern person. Mm -hmm. From Smoky Mountains of North Carolina. And I get the sense that you're not a big cook. Is that correct? Um, no, but I'm a very good helper. So, you probably never made biscuits and sausage gravy before. I'm going to hand you this sausage. Okay. And the first step is that we remove the sausage from its casings, and it makes very satisfying, like, uh, plop into the, yeah. Yeah. Cool, right? Yeah. Um, I have actually never made... I was going to ask if you've, yes. I made biscuits before. Um, I made them earlier. Right. Um, but I um, have never made sausage gravy, so it's going to be a fun experiment. Yeah, it's hard to fuck this up. It's it? kind of fun, actually. Yeah. 
yeah, we could, I wish we had way more sausages. We could just sit here and do this all day. Mm. The nitrates are like hurting my hay nails. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a chance to go to the fancy sausage store, so these are fully from the associated up the block, but right. I think they'll still be delicious. There. Yeah, that's an appetizing that bowl of great. meat cook. Okay, so uh, we're gonna take this over to the stove, kind of broil it up, and then gravify it. I'll show you how. Perfect. Pour milk into a pan full of sausage. Is milk in the recipe? Yeah. I was very proud to be able to send you a recipe. Um, I, I was very charmed by that, yes. actually. Like, well, I yeah. felt like I wasn't holding up my end of the bargain here and trying to, you know, hey, like figure out what we're doing. That does look good. Yeah. It's hot. It is hot. Oh, that looks <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. They just mm -hmm. can't get much better. Mm. Wow, I'm jealous of Southern people. It's just really good. Mm. Imagine if you woke up and someone had made you this. Uh, you would love them so much. Yes. Well, it doesn't really happen that much. Not a lot of breakfast in bed and the glamorous life of uh, no. David Goodwillie. Can we just um, can we just briefly talk about whether your name has been a cross to bear? Um, well, I grew up in London, where Willie obviously is a, yeah, so good Willie is, uh, and everyone calls you by your last name as a schoolboy, so it was a bit difficult, but my poor younger brother goes good Willie Minor, which is bad, hmm. and if we had had a third, he would have been good Willie Minimus, Ooh. and that kid wouldn't have done Survived well at all. third yeah. grade, probably. Now it's okay, because it's so ridiculous and rare that everybody kind of remembers it, but um, yeah, it was a little rough going there for a while. There's a, uh, having a Google war with a professional soccer player in Scotland named David Goodwillie, who's... Mm. Are you winning right now, or probably uh, not right I'm now? I, I, you know, <laughs> I'm winning every, for the few months surrounding the book publication, but then he goes for years with a solid, you know, every time he scores a goal, it's a big... He keeps getting in bar fights, though, so he's like 20, so he's a little feisty. It is terrible to have someone have the same name as you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I get these 16-year-old uh, um, female soccer fans Facebooking me. <sighs> They're really disappointed when they um, become friends of mine, I'm sure. <laughs> well, maybe they will inadvertently become mm -hmm. fans of your work. Real book readers, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that could work out. Um, well, This is really good. Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm that. actually really hungry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show, and uh, the book is, you know, I think it's very important to talk about blogging and terrorism in the same sentence, so, I think, I think so, so thanks too. for doing that. It was my pleasure. It was great fun. Thank you. Welcome. Anytime. I am giving you